A few days ago, I killed a little time reading a discussion on the idle power consumption of various CPUs. AMD's current CPUs seem to be more efficient under load. Intel's typically are reporting lower power usage at idle. That's the general wisdom anyway. But I wanted to dig deeper, so I kept poking around. I started reading information about total system idle power consumption and chipset power consumption and all that kind of thing. Then I decided to check my own system with the 7800X3D and see what hardware info reports. This video has nothing to do with any of that. While I was checking hardware info, I noticed something alarming. My X670E motherboard's chipset temperatures were ridiculously hot. Given the summer-like weather visiting my area and that the air conditioner is not running yet, I expected heat, but not in the 90 degrees Celsius range. I found loads of reports of people with very high temperatures, especially on Asus AM5 motherboards. The report suggested that Asus uses terrible quality thermal pads, and sometimes forgets to put them in altogether. Still, I would not have expected bad quality pads to run the temperatures up that high, and very few people were reporting temperatures as high as mine. To be fair though, I'm running the system on a cardboard box with no fans pointed at the chipset. Anyway, I tore down most of the system and moved it over to my work table to pull the chipset heatsink off and see the travesty lying beneath. There were thermal pads on both chips, so they didn't forget anything. I suppose some computer expert out there might be able to judge that these thermal pads have very bad heat transfer qualities just by looking at them, but I can't. So I started thinking, maybe Hardware Info just read the sensor wrong or something. That's a possibility. Since I tore it apart, I had to replace the pads. I don't recommend that you put old pads back on a system unless they're in good shape. And definitely don't put together a system without any pads if it had pads before. Just order new ones and replace them. These thermal right pads I bought to repad a GPU a few years ago finally came in handy again. Pad replacement only took a few minutes. I rebuilt the system and fired it right back up. Just after the restart, Hardware Info reported only about 48 degrees Celsius on the chipset. That's over 30 degrees of improvement. Bonkers. Temperatures, though, were slowly rising at idle. So I fired up a game of Dota and suffered through intense toxicity for about an hour for science. During that game, the temperatures peaked in the mid to high 70s, which is still a huge improvement over where they were before I took the system apart. Temperatures were dropping after the game was over. I added a fan near the chipset and they started dropping even more quickly. I hadn't run into any performance issues because of the high chipset temperatures, and they likely were not running that hot during the winter months anyways. Heck, I can't even say for sure that running in the 90s long term is bad for them. What I can say is I feel much better about where they stand now. By the way, it's pretty popular to trash Asus lately, and last year I had two awful warranty experiences with defective motherboards that were both Asus, so I understand people's frustrations. These awful thermal pads may just be another sign of Asus's decline, but I still regard the motherboard as a good product and I don't plan to get rid of it anytime soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.